Hi guys, it's Neo here from the Panda Products Team channel. I hope you're all well. Um, welcome to another YouTube channel video. Where this time we're going to be looking at a Photoshop tutorial which involves making a page turn effect. Um, I recently picked up this skill by reading a really cool magazine called um, Advanced Photoshop. It's, it's a very good magazine. It's a bit pricey, but it's got some really good tips in there. Um, but I had a play about with it on my own and uh, discovered a really cool way to do it. So what I've done here is I've got a like random image of some wavy stuff. And what we're going to do is make a, a page turn effect in one of the corners at the top. So the first thing you want to do is get yourself any image that you want to have with the page turn effect on and duplicate it so that you've got two layers. You can do this by um, right clicking and then hitting duplicate layer there. So on the second layer, the, the duplicated layer, what you want to do is go over to this um, tool here called the Polygonal Lasso tool. Now all we want to do here is draw a triangle in this corner here because this is the one that we decided to turn the page on. If you hold Alt um, and start in any of the corners and just click, it, it will not let you go out of the boundaries. So you want a nice um, sort of equal triangle on the corner like that. If you hold Alt all the way around while you do it, then you want to go to the uh, brush selection tool which is here and then select brush, head down to the options and go to white, ensure the um, opacity of the brush is set to 50% and flow to 100%. Um, you want a soft brush for this, so I'm going to quickly just change my brush to a soft brush here in the default. Right, now we've got a brush, we're going to resize this a little bit and just press it once in that corner to have a light, little light effect. Now if we head over to the gradient tool and uh, we want to click the gradient thing and what you want to do is have this gradient thing set from like full to transparent so that it looks similar to this. So it goes from a colour to transparent. So we want to hit this colour and change it to a darker version of red. So we're going to pick the dark colour red here somewhere on your image or whichever image like whichever colour you've got that's darker um than your your general overall colour. Uh now we're going to ensure that the opacity is set to fifty percent again and draw a line going from left to right in your corner. So it creates like uh, a triangle effect that you can see there. Now head over to the rectangle marquee tool which is that one here and drag yourself a big box probably about that size. So, it's a, so that corner is about two and a half to three squares um, big and two square like one square further down so it's like double in size. Now what you want to head over to is edit, go down to transform and hit warp and then you get a grid that appears. Now what you want to do is if I zoom in here we can see a little bit better is you want to take this top node here click and hold it and drag it to about there-ish so that it hits the square diagonal beneath it. Now you can play around with the settings on this um, I tend to drag this node here out a bit so that the darker area here is just touching the edge of the corner and the same again with this side and it gives you a, a more natural page turn effect. Um, when you're happy with it, just hit that and click apply and then deselect it. So if we zoom out, it already looks like a cool page turn effect here. So that's not all. Now you want to right click on that image, go to blending options and then you want to put drop shadow. So we've got a nice drop shadow on it. 
I'll move it up here so we can see better. Now for this you want to head over to the um, angle and change it to minus 40. Make the opacity 40. Ensure that the blend modes are multiply and black. Set the distance to 10 pixels and the size to 25. And that should give you a nice sort of shadowy effect. Click OK and you're pretty much done. Um, for an extra step we're going to just nick some random image off Google. I typed in PS3 themes for this. so um, Let's say we'll take this random woman here. Paste it into our uh, image. If we drag that just below that page and then position it like so kind of looks like she's peering out from underneath that thing and that's pretty much it there you go a nice cool page turn effect for you all to use and um, please post your comments like and subscribe to us if you enjoyed our video and we'll see you in the next one